Hey everyone, welcome back to The Clueless Dad. Today we're going to show you how to put on a zero plus month seat on a Baby Zen Yo-Yo Plus. So that's the six plus month version. We've had it for about a year. We really love it. Uh, we just had our second kid. So we're going to downgrade, quote unquote downgrade, to a zero plus month version. I want to thank Baby Zen Hong Kong for sponsoring these products. Uh, they've really supported us a lot in the past. Uh, and I love doing videos for their products. So that caveat aside, let's show you how to do it. First of all, let's take a look in the box. This is the aqua version, if you can't tell. Um, it's one of the newer colors. Let's give it a open. Oh, and we got a thank you card from Baby Zen. Thank you very much. So uh, first of all, we have the, uh, this should be the legs cover, the sort of winter cover, which is furry on the inside, and this zips around. And here is the actual uh, seat, I guess you could say, the bed, the bassinet. Uh, and here is the canopy. So here's the, I guess it's basically the whole thing. It's the bassinet as well as the seat, you know, the bassinet, um, and the board here. And we have a head pillow in the little pocket. So this is good for, you know, obviously this is for newborns, so this is good as well. And last but not least, this should be the rain cover. Yes, it is. Rain cover and the instruction book. It's got tons and tons of uh, disclaimers and warranty stuff and then a couple pages of pictographs. So as you can see, it's not exactly easy. Um, yeah, so hopefully this video will help you. Okay, so first let's take this seat off and uh, switch it around for the other one. I'll do this all in time lapse. Three, two, one, go. One key thing to note to take this backboard off is there's this red pin you can see here. Uh, this slides in and out and there's a small hole here. So to take it out, you have to get a screwdriver or something pointy in there to pop it in. And then uh, we're going to actually use this as the base on the zero plus month version two. So you want to take it, turn it around, stick it under the strap, pop it in on the other side now. So get the first side in and then slide this one down and then pop it back and you might have to wiggle it around. There we go. So there we are. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna put this bassinet cover onto the stroller base. So uh, this is a kind of a multi-step process. You basically want to uh, get it on, on this like lip, and then those these Velcro straps go through here on the bottom, and then you'll connect it here, here, and on the back. So let's do this part first. So you basically have to get it, I'm gonna tip it up, make it easier. So basically get it on and through these loop things and Velcroed in place. So definitely easier if you do it with the stroller uh, tipped back like this. So these guys slide on here. So next you want to get these uh, metal ribs from the canopy onto these swivel pin things here. Uh, and the key thing is to have the loop on the outside so that you can hook it once it's in. So the first one's always easier because it's basically loose uh, and then hook on there. And the second one's always harder because everything else is already in place. So you might have to stretch a little bit, actually not too bad. And stretch. And uh, last but not least, you have to get these small straps around the metal bar here on the bottom. And apparently it just goes through the sides, it doesn't go around the outsides. Okay. And if you haven't already, uh, snap these guys on the side. And uh, next up we just have the straps. So if you're familiar with the six plus month version, this is pretty similar, uh, slightly different obviously. Uh, first thing you want to do in this case is put the little head pillow through here and it basically Velcros on this first set of holes. So uh, I guess we just feed it in and this is adjustable. So get it to the right size for your kid. 
So it's basically Velcro on the back, which uh, holds it in place. And obviously you want to feed the straps through the appropriate hole. So it should be shoulder strap, shoulder strap, waist strap, and then the sort of in between their legs piece here. And then this Velcro's down. So pretty straightforward. So let's put it in. So in between the legs, get the waist, get the other waist, make sure that they're not twisted. Now the shoulder straps through the second hole. And once it's in place, uh, get the Velcro in the right spot and then pull all the straps. The good news is these are made to only go in one way, so hopefully you won't screw it up. So basically, just like on the uh, other version, get these guys lined up, snap in the bottom, and you're good to go. Obviously, tighten as appropriate. Last but not least, in case you happen to be using this in the winter, let's zip in the uh, little foot cover. So uh, basically, just a zipper. And there's some buttons here on the sides. How does that look? Not too bad. Here you can see a closer look of the leg cover. Uh, those buttons and the corresponding buttonholes are for folding down the top edge of the cover. So uh, also if you want to get access to the kids, you can obviously unbutton that. Uh, don't forget also that this can fold out to give better face coverage. So don't forget that this can basically fold up and if you want to get this guy in, there we go. This is always tricky on these guys is to get these wheels lined up. So even with the foot cover on, still folds up. Obviously much better if you take that out. So yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so I gotta go take my father-in-law to the train station. I'll cut it off here and uh, do a final wrap up later. Hey there, as you can see, I'm back in Hong Kong. I didn't have a chance to finish filming while I was still in Japan. Pretty busy with the baby and everything. So um, now I have two extra months of hands-on experience. I will do a quick wrap up and I'll do a full review uh, sometime later in the future. But uh, let me just give my quick uh, kind of key points that I want to share with you guys here. So first of all, I didn't mention it early in the video, but if you're just going to buy the zero plus month seat, if you already have the stroller and you just want this version, it's going to cost you about 250 US dollars. That's not cheap, but you know the stroller as a whole costs something like five or six hundred dollars. So in that context, it's not that bad. And basically, you're getting like a second stroller for only 250 dollars that has the quality of the baby's end so keep that in mind um, and likewise a lot of the benefits and also drawbacks of the baby's end six plus month version also apply for the zero plus month version so obviously it's super light ultra portable you can take it as carry on on an airplane can't overemphasize how important that is um, but then likewise it doesn't have the hugest of wheels they do roll well but i wouldn't try taking this thing off-road um, and it's also very because it's ultra portable it's also kind of small and compact which means that the kid in this case the kid lying down flat is really low and so kind of low to the ground that's not really great and also very far from you so when you're pushing and you're standing up the kid is like you know now several feet away for a six plus month version the lowness is not as big of an issue because especially for like a two-year-old they can just climb in and out of that thing even easier because it's small. In this case, you got to go down and bend over, pick them up. So although it's a newborn, they're not that light. You got to do that every time you want to put them in or take them out. So yeah, keep that in mind. There is one thing that uh, I think the zero plus month version uh, is even more well suited for than the six plus month version is the fact that you can take it on the airplane. So I know I keep harping about that, but um, basically in the case of a of an older kid, let's say a one or two year old, they can actually walk on their own. You can put them in a carrier, maybe they're a little bit heavier, but not that bad. You know, a lot of those luggage carts actually have a thing, or at least they used to have a place for kids to sit. 
Um, in a lot of airports, at least in Japan, they have like free strollers that you can use or little carts with baby seats on them. Um, but for a newborn, not so much, right? And a newborn, especially if they're really new, you can't really put them in a good carrier anyway or you have to have a special insert or whatever. So in this case, you can use your real stroller when it's actually suited for a newborn and you can go right up to that gate, pick the kid up, you know, only carry him uh, basically onto the airplane, bring the stroller with you. As soon as you get out, you don't have to wait for the 20 minutes for them to bring your stroller. It's right there. So yeah, that's a big one for me at least. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for now. I'll do a full review again later. Also check back for my other videos about the Baby Zen system. Uh, I have a couple more accessory videos coming soon. I have the uh, skateboard, like the sibling board that uh, the second kid can ride on now that I have a second kid. I also got one of those. And I have the cargo bag, which makes it much more useful for taking to the store, etc. So uh, stay tuned for those. If you have any questions about the zero plus month or six plus month version, leave them down below in the comments. And thanks again, I wanted to fully disclose that this was a gift from Baby Zen Hong Kong themselves. So take that with a grain of salt. I think I'm being pretty honest. You guys tell me. Okay, see you later. Bye. You know, having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin, as soon as we get off the plane, pull it out, unfold it, and walk off. You know, literally that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.